Okay, the Nexus grid tie power inverter. And as you can see, these look completely different to your normal inverters or the grid tie inverters you really see a lot of on eBay. They're completely different and they look different and they act different. Now, as you can see, I'll quickly show you, there is no fans on these, okay? No internal fan, no external fan. Waterproof, outside regulated. These, the sun's shining in now, so unfortunately it's uh, gonna be a bit of a glare on the floor. Um, these are absolutely, yeah, uh, spin it over here a bit. These are exterior rated. As you can see, they go onto the uh, framework of your panels outside. It can be fixed onto the frames of your solar panels, but they're outside rated. Now, this is, I'll show you how it's going right in there. sure we can get these numbers. Yeah, we can. As you can see, it's a 360, 72. Uh, basically, what that means is 360 is the total wattage of panels allowed in. 72 is the cells. Now, bearing in mind, I've got 36 cell 12 volt panels, I'm going to put two in series, obviously two 36s is a 72, that will make 72 cells. So potentially four panels will be made as two, which then I can put two into this, because this is actually a duo inverter, it will take two panels. And I know the plugs here, the MC4 plugs are, are single, but then it comes with this, which as you can see, there's a bit more, you've got your two. So you can put two panels in to your plugs there. But as I say, this is a duo, they do make a single, and they obviously make, um, <clears throat> sorry, they obviously make 60 cell. So you must get the right one for your panel. 72 cells or 60 cells, they must be the correct one. So, grid tie inverter. You can see, you can see this anyway, it's actually very clear. 54 volts is the maximum input voltage. Uh, minimum would be 30, which is PP, that's the minimum power point tracking, 30, so that's the minimum to actually get working. And the maximum of power point voltage to is 42. Uh, and the maximum input current is 13.4 amps. IP66 rated, which obviously is waterproof, but that does mean, the same with these, you see, it does mean, yes they can go outside, but they do not like being sat on flat roofs in puddles of water so they must be say for example off the ground and it's the same as these if you've got these I see many people on, on YouTube and they're running these connectors on the floor like this imagine this is your flat roof and these are all connected in like so well that's still not good enough because water puddles can go in then that's not what these connectors are rated for so that could be a cause of people's problems but going back to this, okay, so we've got output 240, because obviously we're here in the UK, so it's 240 volts, uh, 50 hertz, as we are, 50 hertz, and the maximum current is 1.61 amps, okay? So, you're going to connect your two panels to this, and these are basically um, going to convert your DC to 240 in a very very effective way and very very um, superior way to the others which you see on eBay because these are G83 certified professional grid tie inverters this is what your company would well not all companies but I have bought these from a company which would do installations um, they do DI kits DIY kits which you can buy but I've bought these because I wanted to do my own kit, okay? I didn't want to spend three and a half thousand, four thousand pounds to have panels on my roof. I just really wanted to try it at the moment with some solar and see how things go. So that's why I bought these. But these are professional grid ties. As you can see, they look different and they act different. So, okay, so you're saying we've got one and we can connect two panels. So we can get 360 watts potentially from this. But that doesn't end there because here I've got it connected to some other wires. It's already 
plugged in this this section here which as you can see has got four one two three four sockets is called a distribution uh, block and what you do is the cable here which comes from your grid tie that would plug in to your um, distribution box if you're going to use another grid tie that would go into this side you then blank one off and then you'd have a lead going to your next distribution box where again you can put in one, two and again so on now with this system because this is a duo you can connect ten of these so ten of these which is twenty solar panels and they're daisy chain but obviously they're a parallel connection but they, that's how quick they link they link and they're plug and play so you don't have to keep messing about basically you can buy one two panels if you think it's all going well you can buy another one and connect this into distribution box get an extension lead and you can carry on and you can build this up with this particular one 10 now the other ones which obviously lower wattage and, and designed for single panels then obviously hence it's more but I do believe it's 10 because obviously 10 times 1.6 would be 16 amps and that's probably the maximum you can put into any one single socket um, I'm not saying 10 of these is the maximum you can use although 20 panels it is a lot of solar panels and I imagine you'll struggle to even get 20 190 watts on your roof but still that's in one array um, if you were going to connect more only a maximum of 10 of these per section then you have another section here with another 10 but then you need to start wiring these directly into obviously your uh, your main grid um, because obviously the cabling and, and the currents are going to be hugely high and um, as I say obviously then you're going to you know struggle to plug these into a socket because this comes as I say like that and basically here we go this is the other lead as you can see which is already on my distribution box which is here so that inverter plugs in there and then here we have a household socket and that would go into my sorry I'm shaking the camera that would go into this which is basically uh, an RC trip switch uh, which obviously is um, the minimum you should be doing and that's simple I mean that's basically a plug and play um, that will get you up and running and that will start producing electric uh, this simple here system here now these they're guaranteed for 20 20 years but they actually have an average lifespan of over a hundred years they're basically designed to be the life of the system so in other words they get fitted and that's it they're fitted and they're lifetime guarantee so technically it's a good investment because you well I'll tell you these cost me 89 pounds plus fat now for a, a professional grid tie inverter like these I think that's a very good price um, and for a product you know you're going to get over 20 years out of um, I think it's absolutely exceptional to be honest so I'm over the moon with that that's very good very good price um, one last quick thing I'm gonna mention about these is behind here which is another very good idea we have a transponder and should you register with the company uh, quite simply basically what that means is if you did have a big system and you've got 10 of these on your roof for example uh, and let's say one of your solar panels um, packed up or one of them was um, you know shaded basically the data sent from here and tell you what each section is uh, producing and what each section is doing which is very good because you can potentially see and fault fight uh, without obviously having to uh, check every single individual panel so that's another very good feature it actually sends the information to a gateway which you can be uh, viewed on your computer screen and that will tell you what each and every panel is actually putting out uh, obviously uh, as a live report continuous daily hourly and so on which obviously is a very very good idea so here we go I mean that's what I intend to do I've got two of these um, and I'm going to use those um, uh, as I say I'm going to use the uh, 80 watt panels but I'm going to link them in series so I will have 24 volt panels uh, 
160 watts and I'm going to link to obviously uh, there's my wire connectors so obviously two panels which would be one in there two panels will be one in there so that'd be four which you then obviously bring it under to uh, uh, 16 16 is 32 so I potentially have 320 watts whereas these can cope with 360 so it's under the under the limit so that's what I intend to do and hopefully uh, everything could go well